If you think you're sweating too much, there's help. I've been treating patients with hyperhidrosis for almost 20 years now. I've been a dermatologist for 36 years, and for the last 15 years or so, have been extremely interested in treating patients who have hyperhidrosis. This is a big deal. There are patients who are suffering with this. Their quality of life is going down. Nobody dies of hyperhidrosis, but many die a slow death, if you will, of the psychological trauma that, it, that that incurs. It's a medical condition. It's no different than having allergies or hay fever or high blood pressure. And that this disease can be treated and you can live with it and you can live a productive life. Excessive sweating affects as many people as does psoriasis. Hyperhidrosis patients are the same as all patients. They're concerned, they're worried. Um, what, what kind of treatments can I have? You know, how often will it be? Will it hurt? Some of these issues are the same. But what is different about my hyperhidrosis patients is this is a problem that has a negative social stigma on it. So they try to hide it. They don't tell their parents they have it. They don't tell their doctors they don't have, that they have it. They don't want their friends to know that they have it because to be sweaty somehow implies that they're dirty. I have patients who have tried and done everything. They have tried hypnosis, they have tried acupuncture, they have tried to restrict their diets, their fluid intake. Um, they are so desperate to get relief of their disease. My patients are still gonna sweat after I treat them, but hopefully it's going to be more like a normal person. They're gonna be able to sit in that theater and hold hands with their girlfriends. They're gonna be able to go out to a bar or a restaurant and socialize with individuals and not be embarrassed. You're not alone in this problem. There is help for excessive sweating. You should be able to get the help that you deserve for this condition.